Hello everyone and welcome back for the second part of this speedrun. So in this part, as you can see, we are starting at level 20 and we've been playing for one hour and a half. That if you want to see this first part, the first 20 level, you can see the other video uh, on Atlas, of course. And here will be pretty simple in the end, like I was doing in Phoenix. I was just grabbing some XP items and giving them to to the PNG in in the game. And that's why the second part is a little bit faster, because I won't be killing any mobs at all. Just going to travel a lot, and that's pretty much it. So, first time is like, first thing is like the, on Phoenix, the same principle. You got the XP items. And this will give us some experience to level up our character. And uh, compared to Phoenix here, you can only give 30 of each. You cannot give any more. And this is why it will be a little bit longer. Because I remember that the Phoenix I was spamming like a hundred of the same item on the same, same uh, PNG. Same character, so I'm just grabbing them, and this time I don't have a shortcut. The shift plus right click doesn't work here on Atlas. There are some defaults on the server. There were a lot of crash the first weeks, and still going on on this, but it's pretty more, pretty much stable. I wanted to thank. Uh, the developers that did a great job uh, with the server and of course I know that a lot of people are going to complain about the stability and it's uh, sometimes a hell because of the crashes and a lot of players did even left the server but five days ago I went to the other one I won't name it here, but I think you all know it. The other one is in Alpha for now. But I don't know if people is coming back on Atlas. I think yes, most of, of them, once they get bored or of of PvP in, in seeds every day, they're going to get bored and and come back a little bit more on Atlas. And I saw a lot of people complaining and just wanted to remember that behind all the server there are some people that doesn't doesn't gain, doesn't earn, win any money on it. They all do that on their free time, on their free time, and this is why you should thank them, not criticize criticize them when there are crashes. This is life, this is what happened in the beginning. And I think the developers I did a great job about it. <coughs> and this is why I like Atlas, even if a lot of people doesn't like it, I don't mind. So here we go, we're going to do the first level with these two XP items, which will be 20 to 21, and of course a lot of travel, because I cannot spam two XP items, and I have to be careful, ah, and there is another thing compared to Phoenix. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the other video in 23 minutes. There were a trick where, where I could uh, just use my personal bindstone, go to Camelot, throw it and ask for another one. And I had uh, 
the timer reset. And here you cannot throw the bindstone. You can have you cannot have a new one. So I have to use it carefully for her to speed run and use it when the road is really really long. That's why I have to come back with horse and work a lot. And this is why it is a little bit long longer too. Well, I wanted to talk about the first 20 level too. I know that I could have done faster if I would have done some PL, power leveling. But the principle of this period is to do everything solo, everything alone, without any group. And that's it. I know that I could have done maybe in, in less than 10 minutes with Pia the first 20 levels. With some coordination, by quitting and just coming at the right moment when they are killing all the mobs at the same time. And I know I could have done it in 10 minutes and could have done the speed run in less than one hour. But they will not, <laughs> they will not be as fun as doing hit solo, it's not the same thing. Of course solo is always slower and I've always done my speed run this way. And I want, they don't want to change this principle just to go faster. So this is why I just cut these two videos, these videos in two parts, this speed run in two parts. So that if someone wants to do it with group, he can. But I don't think that the second part, the 20 to 50, even in group, will be faster. Maybe a little bit faster. Maybe the 20 to 25, even 30 until 30 could be fast. But yeah, maybe. So. I just wanted to precise to tell that just solo. So we're going to use this bite stone now and uh, use it one more time after. And we are level 22 for now and we just keep going giving to the XP items. It's, it's almost the same as on Phoenix, all the XP items, the, the mobs, it's pretty much the same. There are not, not much differences. If you ask me how I did got to the XP items, I did it all solo. And that was pretty much a hell to get all of them. I've got 40, 45 XP items. Each time you want to get one, only one, you have to wait three minutes to get a new one. So killing him, it, it took me about one hour and a half to get 30, only 30 XP items. So... You can imagine how I did to to get all those 40, 45 items. I've bought some, maybe 10 or 50 or 30. But the rest I had to farm because they were not on market and it was really hard. Because somewhere in RVR, sometime I was killed I <laughs> also players, so I had to come back. Uh, well, doesn't think it's easy. I had to prepare like Phoenix, the same. I had to prepare a lot the ground before. Check every minute, every second, what was faster. 
I think that that is the faster I can do with only XP items. Doing horses. Voila. <laughs> so this is going to be pretty slow. Faster than the 21st level, but still slow compared to Phoenix. Remember doing it in 23 minutes, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy. And that's a shame that Phoenix in the end died, but well, that's life. That's life, we cannot change that. Developers were tired, people were gone too. But thankfully, a new one appeared. We'll see how long it will last if player is going to, if all player are going for another one again. This should be my last server because it's really hard, really hard to make those pigeons. But I like it. In the end, I liked it a lot doing this. It was fun. Pretty much it. Here I'm going to stop in Ludlow. Ludlow. Because I got a teleporter here. To teleport to the next, directly to the next ones. Maybe this is this is the only problem of Atlas. The hot frontier should be the only thing that you have to work ten minutes. When you die, every time you die, you work a lot, and there is no teleporter to castles. Maybe this is only default, only defect, disadvantage of this server. All the rest is. Like old school, really classic. Pretty different from Phoenix too. And that's it. The most important part is having fun. In my in my side from from me, I just like to do PvE, to go farms, to kill mobs. <clears throat> Rune plate, crafting a lot, I craft a lot too, making templates rather than, than killing other player. Even in, with new frontier, you get bored, bored in the end, doing the skilling players. I, I prefer crafting, do business, <laughs> and that's, that's it. Some, there is for all tests in this game. This is why I, I liked it so much. After 20 years of playing, starting in 2002 until now, in 10 years from now, 10 years from now, I will be still playing. So thanks, thank you, the developers, for uh, your job again. So oh, another horse again. I think we are 25, and we've been playing one hour and 15 minutes. 50 minutes. So from level 20, it's about 14 minutes of playing and just in the end doing horse. And normally, normally after 30. Should be faster. Should be much faster. Because the problem is that for the first 20 to 30 levels, there were no other choices. There were no other choices. 
because after you have a lot of different item tasks so I, I could have I was able to choose where I could have given them So, we're going to show the island Heisel, have an Heisel Give to the items And normally Should be 25 And we've been playing about around about 16 minutes 5 level in 16 minutes Next one we have to come back again in Yaris. Man, that's really pretty long in the end. As for the differences between Phoenix and Atlas, the biggest one is, is New Frontier. Biggest one is, is that. We also have the Atlas Herbs, that was a Phoenix Feather before. You also have the Rogues Items Herbs that you can buy on Camelot pretty much the same and in some aspects after that they are pretty different used to be more full field than Phoenix well that was one week ago before everyone Everyone's gone for another server. I can understand. I can understand why why people left. Because I saw some some Twitch about the other server, and yes, there were a lot of action there. Players killing. Easy easy to find players. But in the end, I think that when and if they release a game, the server one day will be the same, same old story. People will get bored. Even in New Frontier, people are going to get bored. The only problem is that in the end, Arcade of Camelot was designed to play with 3,000 people at the same time, the same server. So there were for all tests. There were a lot of people in seeds, others battlegrounds, other with level 50. It was pretty much easier to find other players. But now, with about around five, six, seven hundred players at the peak times, it's harder. Hard on to find to find other players, and you get bored more quickly. Moreover, if you have to to walk ten minutes each each time you die, I think that's why the other server won't won't last that much. From Celestius, I don't know exactly the story about this server Celestius, what happened to it exactly, I wasn't there. I've just heard that they were they went to the other one, or the new server. And that's pretty much it. So I don't know. I think the most important is that people just get fun, they just do what they like and that dev skips maintaining the server.
and that's why you should thank them for their work. They do it. They do that on their free time after their work, their real work. And that's why you should not criticize them because it's entirely free. You don't pay each month like live server. So I shouldn't be complaining that much, but I can understand. I can understand why people just want another more adrenaline, more fun. So I think that for me would be the last time I'll be playing this year. And we'll see in a few, few months, few years from now, if I'll still enjoy doing it. So let's go, 27! Don't have to travel that much. Everything is closed now. That was a really hot part of this speedrun. And we've been playing for 20 minutes, around 20 minutes, 21 minutes. And let's hope I can do this in less than in less than uh, one hour. Let's have one hour to do all of this. Twenty nine. Let's go for the next one. Yeah, like I said, the most important is that you have fun wherever you are. Just enjoy the game. And I, I, I'm still amazed that there are that much people still after 20 years. They were like, at the maximum I've seen is like 1000, 1200 people at the same time. Community is still around 2000, 4000 people in total. I've seen some, some young people too, interesting in the game, wanted to discover. Maybe because a really big famous Twitch, Twitch streamer named Zerator did um, a stream about one month ago and it, it's the biggest streamer in France and there were a lot of people, a lot of young people watching it was pretty amazing and giving a new breath to the game and what happened now? Why can't I give what happened? Ah, uh, I think no, just during this period. Can't do anything. Everything is back. I tried to quit. I hope I won't have another crash and I'm losing time. Well, my character has been saved. <laughs> At least. <laughs> I won't lose the first lovers. What's happening? The first time I see that, it's so long. And crash. <laughs> Alright. Let's see when the <laughs> Welcome back! Yes, that was a big crash. <laughs> that happened 
that's happened and it's normal the first month the first weeks is normal right. lucky me it wasn't during the first levels but giving xp items lucky me so well <laughs> Had to come back here and come not um, just taking that in backup. If I lose some levels, we'll see. Yep, wasn't uh, very lucky with this crash. Uh, this happens sometimes. Well, like I was saying before, I was talking about the famous French streamer. He is followed by millions of French people and a lot of young people, so saw him into the videos and I think they, they wanted to discover a bit this game it's like a Mario uh, an old school Mario Bros sometimes it's good to to show the young people how it was before that nothing was perfect and how the video game just and particularly the multiplayer games worked but they're pretty they have more luck today because at the time we have really low connections with 56k of internet that should have been a hell it was a different time and then ah, I think I remember that playing with um, ADSL. I had like like five one. How much it was? Five hundred kilobytes per second, <laughs> something like that. It was pretty slow, but it was playable. It wasn't those those new new multiplayer games like we saw today that um, that require really big connections computers you can still play this game easy well when I say easy it's a little bit harder harder to understand it than the new ones because new ones have tutorials have cinematics some movies in it like a storytelling storyline on it and young people prefer that than old school, old school video game, and I understand. It's easier for them to start the new game, so it's like a challenge, big challenge for new players that never knew about this game before. Take some time to apprehend, to start understanding it. So I'm just going to teleport again, that would, should be the last time I use my bandstone. And we've been playing around uh, 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes, the verse 37. But now it should be pretty fast. If I don't crash again, <laughs> so let's go and 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 <laughs> just say one thing the word, yes, I crash, I think I've crashed. Again, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, welcome back. Here, I'm just flying. <laughs> Another crash. Uh, maybe sometimes I crash because of my connection to really have a bad one here. I don't think it was a server, but my connection. So, hiding the boat is not really good. But most of the time, I, I can play easily without crash, most of the time. Maybe sometimes I have one, two, and three crash a day, but that's the maximum. Playing around eight, ten hours a day. So, it's not that much. For me, it's not a big problem. I just do other stuff. I'm waiting the server to restart or my connection to restart. That's pretty much it. So let's go for the next level. Where is I here? He goes. Level 40. That's it. Playing for 30 minutes. Level 20 to 40 in. How much with the 20? So. 34 minutes 20 to 14 34 minutes let's see how much time it will take us to 40 to 50 now that should be pretty fast because I'm staying around the same towns I've calculated to stay in, in Trollhead Isle most of, of the times so I won't have to teleport to some times and just let hope I won't have a crash again. <laughs> but that's life. We we'll have to accept it. I'm just gonna do a quick break. Because I think I've made a mistake with my XP items. And I'm just going to come back. After this small break. So, welcome back. I've just organized everything. Playing for 2 hours and 11 minutes in total. Entirely solo, entirely alone with that group, took me 2 hours 11 minutes to go to 40, 41. Well, that's not bad compared to 20 years ago, that's not bad. All solo, no power leveling again. So if you want to try, you can. You've got all the XP items you need here. Don't think you can do better with other XP items because some were very, very far away. So that's why, that's why some XP items were difficult to, to get. Sometimes I wasn't able to find the mobs to kill. I had to look for them. And let's go for the next levels. Here I'm gonna spam around.
No, not here, it's very real. Go to give the next one to brother, to brother Salvar. <laughs> brother Salvar. Give to Cyclops. In Camelot. Here he is. Let's go for T2. Then let's go to my favorite place where I really like to start my speedruns. Even I, I I didn't I didn't start this speedrun the first levels in Coast World. I started in, in Fredwin Keep because there were teleporters there. Only for that reason. I, I, I remember that of Phoenix there were there, there weren't a teleport in pre win so I couldn't do the, the speedrun there. It was a little bit longer. But with this teleport I was able to farm, to kill mobs really close and fast from the teleport. Now here we go. I don't even have to use some XP items because I was expecting like five bubbles and in the end I got a little bit more so I, I can skip even if it was in the same town town I'm able to skip but the next one I cannot I cannot skip them and that's the last travel I make that big, last big one Take us so about one minute, but I have uh, I can I'll have to to give about four XP items. I will be able to give four XP items at the same times. Not that much compared to the other places. There were some XP items in West done, and as the first place you can give XP item. Take about about three four minutes just to go there and come back. So let's go. Little horse, <laughs> if you can go faster, <laughs> you can go faster, even with my speed. Here you go, Ocean. Ocean. Level 43. And what happened? Uh, yep, 44. Alright. I think I have to. I will be able to skip. I didn't expect that much bubbles. I was expecting 5 bubbles and the end it's more. So maybe yeah, I can skip yep. some after that. Just check him. And let's go to the pot. Thankfully there is a teleport here. Let's go to Shroud and Isol. And let's see how much time. We've been playing about 40 minutes since level 20.
There it go. That will be pretty fast. 45. Here, yeah, this is what I like. I can give things a level chain. 46. I think for level 15, 50. Where is the other one here? can skip an XP item. Then let's go Jogger, I think. Yes, Jogger. Let's hope I won't crash again. Each time I crashed, it wasn't for the ISO. Let's go mode 47. No, that's not the one. Yeah, this one. And then Isabella. Hello, Isabella again. 48. Yeah, that was Gwintel. I crashed two times in Gwintel in the end. Don't know if it's a coincidence or whatever. Let's give two items and 49. And I've got three XP items left. So I should be 50 easy. I try and come out. Took to be 15 camera directly, I was thinking to go back to show that the ice are in the end, but let's see. Next one, where are you? Greyman. Let's go, Greyman. And. And. Ah, que pasa? Guess kiss pass. 48 and I'm 49. <laughs> it was going so fast I didn't calculate this one. Completely forgot this one. Limited to 48. Never mind. 48 and uh, 49 and a half. And let's go for the last one. Come on, come on, that should be it, and we'll see how much time we've played in total first and calculate since 20, let's go, and 50, that's it, that's almost it, that's it, 2 hour 20 minutes, well, all solo, and uh, in the end it's 45 minutes, 20 to 50, 45 minutes. So that's pretty cool. And see you in next video. Bye.